The future of Afghanistan shifts up the agenda. As European and international troops prepare for a big scale back in less than two years, the question now is can Afghans manage security, clean government and basic services for the people by themselves, even as the Taliban try to bomb their way back to power? We don't want to see, with a withdrawal and disengagement of military uh, intervention from the international community in Afghanistan, is a disengagement from the long-term problems of development. In Kabul, a group of amputees throw themselves into sport. Medical therapy, designed to restore confidence to victims of Afghanistan's long years of violence. A triumph of adaptation in a country with few social resources still at war against extremists. Ghulam Mohammed knows that well. He was a guard protecting workers on a road building project near the Pakistani border when they were overrun by insurgents. How to do that? Each day brings new victims of a war which 11 years ago Western powers declared must be won, but which some are admitting now may actually be lost. Security is not good and is challenging the country. And I hope that one day peace comes and I'm sure people can do a lot and the development will be much better than any other time. I first came to Afghanistan in 1998. The Taliban had almost total control over the country. Three years later, they were history, or so everyone assumed, after the American-led invasion and hundreds of billions of euros invested in building the country's infrastructure. Basic services, clean water, education for boys and girls, health are the red-line priorities for humanitarian organizations in countries caught in or emerging from conflict. It's the fabric for renewal. It's a modest enough investment here, but the returns are much bigger. Access to clean water, plus health and sanitation for thousands of people across the generations. It's not headline stuff, but it still transforms lives. However, much of the billions spent in Afghanistan has gone into building its own security backbone, the Afghan National Army. It stands at 200,000 troops, but although its competence is growing, it's not seen as ready yet to defend the country alone. The hole left by the withdrawal of foreign troops and their equipment will be big, and the only ones to benefit, say some Afghan leaders, will be extremists. People are uncertain about their future. They believe that if international community withdraw, um, you know, we either have to go to the civil war or accept Taliban regime, so we better find uh, an alternative right now. Um, and, and that's, I think, um, a mistake by both government of Afghanistan and international community to um, declare um, an early withdrawal in 2014. She's not alone in her belief. Monica Bernabe runs a small NGO and is a freelance journalist and writer. Her book, Afghanistan, Chronicle of a Myth, is the culmination of 10 years' work in the country, mapping some advances, but many more setbacks. Lo que no se ha hecho es crear un Estado sostenible, un país sostenible. Afganistán depende actualmente al 100% de la ayuda internacional. ¿Qué va a pasar cuando esa ayuda internacional se reduzca o cuando esa ayuda internacional casi desaparezca? Cuando las tropas internacionales se vayan, ¿qué va a ocurrir en un país en que el gobierno no funciona? No es de que las fuerzas de seguridad afganas no puedan hacer frente a los talibán, es que tenemos un gobierno que es totalmente inoperante y que está controlado por señores de la guerra. What then for the people with the biggest stake in it all? They struggle on, hoping and welcoming opportunity. Farzana Alidze represents better than most a spirit of entrepreneurship often overlooked here. Maimed by a mine explosion when she was three, she got artificial limbs at 14 and a year later a small loan to start a sewing business. She earns about six euros a day and passes on her expertise to other girls. I'm a 
و قدر امی برای امی امروز خیلی فکر نمی‌کنم خوب است. مثلا آل خود ما کارمونم مثلا شاید دارند و پیش خود آل که احساس خوبه منم. دیگه تا این دار کس نمی‌فهمم که چی رختم چی چیزها پیش میاد آدم.